Yesterday I did the adjustment on a TPS on a 2001 750 Gixxer. Today we're going to do an adjustment on the same unit for a 2005 1000 Gixxer. Procedure is basically the same but there are some small differences. Now to start with Obviously I have the tank undone and tilted up so I can get at everything. Um, I have the main seat off. Uh, once again, same as the other one. I didn't see a reason to show all that. That seems pretty obvious. Tons of videos out there and all of that stuff. Now, to start your adjustment you need to find this white plug with a black rubber cap. On this particular one, it was in by all of the relays underneath this bar. In some cases you can grab it with your fingers, in others you got to remove the bar so you can get at it. In this plug, it's the same as checking your codes. You have a white with a red stripe and a black with a white stripe. Those two wires need to be joined together. Unlike the 750, this one has six wires. And on this particular plug, it is, well, the way I'm holding it, it's the two wires farthest right. If you have it the other way, it's going to be the two wires farthest left. But just look for your black with a white and white with a red. I'm going to flip off there now and connect them, and then I'll come back. So now I have a jumper wire connecting the other two wires together once again black with a white stripe, white, white with a red stripe once you've done that turn your ignition on and down here in the bottom corner you will see your fuel injection codes uh, should be C00 if everything is good if you have an error in your injection or your ignition, you're going to have a code there. If you have your air box off or anything disconnected, then obviously you're going to have a code there. And you wouldn't worry about that till you get everything connected back up. Then double check there's no codes left. Up here we have this little short little line beside the C. That is the indication of the position of your throttle position sensor. In this case, it's off. It should be in the middle. Now, the throttle position sensor itself is down the bottom here. It's this gray and black unit. has a single torque screw that holds it tight. On the 750, this Torx was one of the safety Torx, or hollow point Torx has a lump in the middle here and you need a special socket to get on it. Um, if you're doing different years of bikes it's a good idea to buy those sockets. They'll work in regular screws and they'll work in the safety screw. So it's a good set to have in your toolbox. Um, as you can see I've already loosened this one so we can move it back and forth easily. You want it slightly snug because you don't want it to move when you when you tighten that screw back up. So let's see where we are with our little line. As you can see our little line has jumped to the bottom. Now the line moves in the opposite direction to what you push or turn the TPS. So if you turn the TPS down the line is going to move up. like that. Now you want to turn it very slowly. It is very sensitive. That line won't move and it'll just all of a sudden jump to the center. Or to the bottom if you've gone too far. There it is, centered. Now if I just touch it. Now I move that maybe a half a millimeter, jump to the bottom. So let's get her back to the center. There we go. You want to snug it down while it's there, then double check that it hasn't moved. Um, if it hasn't, then everything is set 
beautifully. Okay, have it snugged up. Turn it on. Still in the center, so we're set properly. So now your TPS is ready to go. Um, on this particular bike, I have already balanced or synced the throttle bodies. I would recommend doing that before you adjust your TPS. Make sure all of your throttle bodies are pulling the same amount of vacuum in the same position, basically. That way all cylinders are getting the same amount of fuel and sending the same signals back to the computer. So now that that's done, we simply turn off. Now, if you have any codes, um, I found if you leave this wire connected as you turn the key off, it's going to clear those codes. So, if you want to check your codes, do not connect this wire with the key off. Turn the key on, connect the wire, look for your codes. I know there's none in this one. I've already fixed the um, exhaust valve. <laughs> we uh, removed it. So there's no more codes from the exhaust valve, and it won't stick anymore. That's it. Put your cap on, and you're done. Put your seat back on, flip your tank back down. Um, probably wouldn't hurt to check your idle speed while you have the tank up, because once you bolt the seat and everything on, you got to pull it all back up to do your idle speed. So that's it for that procedure.